Rashid, but do you Arla. buy this argument by Mohan Kumar among them that these are individual comments, we don't agree? Because it seems like you're giving the BJP, the Prime Minister, the political strategists in the government the, the ammunition to use in a counter-attack. He can keep explaining that this is Udayanidhi, Stalin's comments, or these are A. Raja's comments, but look at the manner in which Stalin's comments just backfired terribly, not just on the DMK, but uh, on the entire India alliance and the BJP made it such a central part of their political attack. Yes, uh, Rahul, it's just uh, poor uh, communication uh, skills on the part of uh, India alliance. Uh, they are not being able to make a distinction between a political alliance of uh, political regional parties coming from a very you know diverse kind of uh, socio-economic background. Remember, the DMK has been anti-God for long, long time and num numerous occasions, whether it was 1977, 1989, or uh, uh, entire Atal Bihari Bajpayee era, where BJP had alliance with this you know godless party called DMK. There was no problem. Uh, so people have no memory of it. So this is a real problem of uh, particularly uh, Congress party and India alliance that they are they are not able to uh, say this in a convincing manner that this alliance India alliance is limited for you know election strategy seat sharing and uh, 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 you know a broader uh, canvas of beating uh, the um, Narendra Modi led NDA it is not about religious belief because if you go on then there is going to be a lot of diversity and the BJP is also tackling it you look at uh, Rahul you allow me to say this you look at, uh, you know, uh, John Poor, uh, nominee of the BJP from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, uh, and, you know, what, what did he say about 9-11 uh, uh, about, uh, 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 Mumbai attack? He said that, you know, it's the RSS conspiracy. Now, Kirpa Shankar Singh has been given a ticket uh, by the BJP. The Congress is not making any issue about it. So, this is poor communication skill on the part of Congress and India Alliance. Nothing else. Okay, you've got an important point. This is... Uh, just bad communication skills. It almost seems Mohan Kumar among them that because there is no one common agenda, no common talking point. So there is no attack that you're all agreeing on. Whoever wants to go, DMK's leaders can go and attack Bhagwan Ram. Uh, Rahul Gandhi can go off on a what's your caste trip. Uh, Lalu Yadav can say, where's your family? You have no family. So they're not, you sit down, think through your political attack and then try and land the same blows. Here, you've got the India Alliance trying to land different blows in different places and quite a few of them are backfiring. I think the way the India Alliance is working is that every state party there is uh, talking to their audience in their voice and in a language that their audience uh, understands and that resonates amongst their audience. There will be differences across and we don't have to agree on every point, but I'll tell you what we agree on. We agree on the fact that the issues that should dominate the, uh, the discourse during this election are issues that matter about, about the livelihood of people. We should talk about unemployment, we should talk about inflation, we should talk about poverty reduction, income inequality. These are the issues that Mr. Gandhi has raised consistently. Okay. And so have other people. Let me finish, let me finish, Rahul, just give me a second. When Mr. Gandhi says, Aap Jai Ram aap se aur aap uke put pet so jayenge, it's not an insult to their saying Jai Shri Ram. It's saying that you are weaponizing religion and creating a religious fervor to get votes. And they are making you do that by making you ignore the fact that your quality of life, your standard of life, your income, your savings are going down. Okay. Ajay Alok, respond to this, that Rahul Gandhi is not attacking Jai Shri Ram. You're distorting what he's saying. He's saying they're trying to send across the message that in the garb of religion, and because you're building a religious fervor, you're getting people distracted from core issues of livelihood, uh, bread, butter, uh, khana, pina, rozgar, which is what Rahul Gandhi is trying to bring people's attention to, Ajay Alok. Unfortunately, Rahul Gandhi is not capable of bringing attention to any issue because he changes issues every day. That is the fact this country knows it. Now, uh, my friend from Congress was saying that India Alliance, every party, every party in the state will talk to their audience. Fine, let me ask him, what is the audience for, Karnat uh, for Congress in Karnataka? Saying Pakistan Jindabad in the assembly running a video that how to kill Prime Minister Modi and just lodging an FIR and not even arresting that person. Is that your audience in Karnataka? Okay. Uh, Mohan Kumar right Amangla, respond to this. It's almost as if Congress and its eco chamber seem stone deaf at this moment. Nasir Hussain no, no, standing no, no, with no, no, fellows no, no, who are saying uh, Pakistan Zindabad. On the one side, no, you've got AAP talking about trying to bring about Ra Ram Rajya. So they're getting how the 
political narrative is unfolding. They're saying we want Ram Rajya and you've got fellows who are standing with Nasir Hussain chanting Pakistan Zindabad. There were people in that crowd. They weren't standing with Nasir Hussain at some event and sitting on the platform with him. When he came out after winning the election, some stray people made some remarks, and those people have been identified by a certain, I mean, circumstantial evidence really, but are arrested. Uh, the FIR is launched. I'm sure they will be incarcerated. And Mr. Nasir Hussain on that very day clarified, saying that he hasn't seen it. If it, there is something of that sort that has happened, immediate action okay. will be taken. Now that the forensic lab has said that that tape is true, we have identified people and action has been taken. So there is no endorsement of that saying. For all I know, it's just probably some of the BJP chaps in there who did it. So can create an issue. Again, these issues aren't the issues that should dominate the discourse of a national election. If anybody is actually saying Pakistan, Zindabad, they should go live in Pakistan. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind or anybody in the India Alliance okay. of that fact. So you've spoken... But to bring it up as an issue... No, you've spoken. The BJP has spoken. I leave it to our viewers to determine who they think is landing the right kind of blows. Because an election is an opportunity to make your point. But you want to be sure about what point you're making. Think through your argument. Land the strongest blow you can. And in the kind of uh, attacks that we've seen, from Lalu Yadav to A. Raja, even uh, to some of what Rahul Gandhi himself has said, that isn't what is happening at this moment. But ultimately, everyone has a vote. You decide where you stand. You've heard from the BJP and the Congress.